Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. This is going to be a short video a review of a GPS that's been launched uh, released by Radio Master. Now here it is. Let me show you the box if it will focus. There we go. And it is for it is for the ER um, receivers. Now let me show you a closer look. Let's see if we can get this to focus. You can see there's a button on there. There's only one button. It has it, it uses pass through, so it's got an uh, input and an input and an output, so that you can daisy chain these. Um, so if the other sensors come up later on, you'll be able to plug a sensor into that, and then your receiver will receive that that telemetry. Now it was it was it's simple to set up. You just plug it into your receivers. I'm going to put up in the corner here which receivers that it is compatible with, so that you can see which ones it will work with. Um, it weighs about 13, just over 13 grams in all. So I suppose really it's it's it's, really, it's this is aimed at the PWM receivers, which are for basically for fixed wing aircraft. But it doesn't mean you couldn't use them for a drone if you wanted to. Now, when I initially turned it on, it took around five minutes to get four satellites. So that was a, a cold start. And that means that it's the first time it comes on. Now, the last time when this was possibly turned on, this was, um, GPS was back in, in, in China. So it had to work out where it was. But when I went outside and, and tested it after that and did a warm start, it came up within about, about a minute, maybe even just slightly more, and it came up with four, I had four satellites linked. After five minutes, I got six, and it stayed that for 10 minutes that I left the receiver on. I got, I got six satellites uh, constantly linked to it. It also comes with the, uh, the lead, the cable that you need to attach it. Now, I haven't tested it in an aeroplane. It worked, it locked, it locked on okay. I'm gonna put some uh, pictures up here of the screen where you can see that the GPS locked. I do have videos that tell you, uh, show you how in an Express LRS uh, and HTX radio, how to get the sensors to come up. You need to go and um, discover the sensors within the uh, settings so that you can then start using these. There are two modes on this um, GPS. One of them is it gives you, it is for, fly, it basically will be for, for, for flying model airplanes. Uh, where you would have a good GPS lock. It does give you the uh, GPS speed. And there's another mode that's used for really uh, ground tracking, so for, for boats or for model uh, cars, where it will give you a very accurate speed. So you can choose that, and it's just the little button. If I can get this to focus, I will be able to. You see that little button there? You just push that button for one second and it will change mode. Now, blue will show you that it is in uh, like the ground mode and the air, air mode is red. And you've also got another LED that t tells you, and if you can see the little, um, it's like an internet sign there, that will, will stay constant uh, when it's got a lock, when that's a minimal of four satellites. Well, that's really it. It's a very simple device. Works. Went straight. Just put it on, and it worked. So that's that's great. You would need um, uh, one of the Radio Master adapters to be able to update the firmware on this, but they are they are available on the website. If there's a firmware update, you won't be able to just plug it into your computer to do that. Well, that's it. Well, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.